Later in this video, I'll show you some of the browsers I use and how you transfer bookmarks from one browser to another and how you back up your bookmarks in case something happens and they get lost or corrupted. Most browsers now have a way to auto sync the bookmarks and other settings including even passwords etc between different machines. I found that this is very nice but also sometimes can get you into a lot of trouble and wipe out your bookmarks or corrupt them terribly. My experience has been that if the number of bookmarks you have is relatively small and you're not using many machines, it seems to work quite nicely. So the secret to all of this is backing up your bookmarks on a regular basis and by backing them up in case something goes wrong you can always restore them and you also may want to transfer your bookmarks from one browser to another so we'll look at that as well first we'll start with Firefox and Waterfox both of which I've been using for quite a while Firefox for probably 18 years and Waterfox more recently when Firefox disabled all my favorite uh, extensions. And by the way, extensions are one of the primary reasons you'll choose a browser. And one of the reasons I use different browsers for different things because different browsers have different extensions available. So the question is, how do you back up or export your bookmarks? In Waterfox, the answer is you click on the little icon here for bookmarks. And when you do that, you get this set of choices. And right here is show all bookmarks. And show all bookmarks is a secret in both Waterfox and Firefox to backing up your bookmarks. In Firefox, they've changed it a bit. So in Firefox, you click on this icon with all the little books stacked up here. This gives you this menu. You click on bookmarks and that opens this menu. And you have to go scroll down to the very, very bottom here. And there you get to show all bookmarks. And you see that there's a shortcut. It's the same in both Waterfox and Firefox to get to show all bookmarks. It's Control Shift B if you remember that. Once you get to show all bookmarks, you see this dialog box. And right up here at the top, you have Import and Backup. And if you click on that, you'll see this choice. You have a choice of backup or restore. You have a choice of export or import. So to back up your bookmarks, I recommend backup for obvious reasons. But the problem is that saves them in a format that can only be read by Waterfox or Firefox, not by other browsers. But it is a wonderful way to quickly transfer all of your bookmarks from one machine to another if you're using either of these two browsers. So if you click on backup, you get this dialog box. And it's, as you see, filled in a name for the file. That's a perfectly good name, bookmarks followed by the date. And as you see, the file type is JSON, which is that unique format that only Firefox and Waterfox can read. But the thing to worry about here is that if we look up here, it by default is putting it on a desktop, which is probably not where you want it. So you need to change by going over here and pick the right folder to put it in. 
Now, once you've saved it, that's all there is to backing up. If instead we wanted to export in a format that could be read by other browsers, we would have clicked on export on the menu before and when you click on export you get this choice and here it puts it in whatever folder you exported to before or maybe this is your downloads folder but now you see it just calls it bookmarks.html uh, and that's a sort of generic name I tend to add the date and I tend to add which browser they're coming from because I might have several bookmark files from different browsers. So that's the story for Firefox and Waterfox. If we go look at Google Chrome, which is a browser I recommend, we see that the bookmarks are gotten to by clicking on the three dots here at the very top right. And when you click on that, this opens up and you see here one of the choices is bookmark manager that's what you want to click on when you do that you get a much bigger dialog box but in the very right hand side near the top you find the three dots when you click there you get choices like import or export bookmarks and remember as I said only Waterfox has that backup format all the others basically just export them in a standard uh, HTML format that all browsers can read. So that's how to back up or export your bookmarks from Chrome. If we look at Microsoft Edge, another good browser, same thing. Up in the top right, you click on the three dots. One of the choices down here is favorites. Microsoft has this habit of calling them favorites instead of bookmarks, but same thing. And if you click on favorites, it opens up this side window. And one of the choices here is manage favorites. So you click on that. And when you do that, you get a nice big window with all kinds of choices. But the secret is on the very left, you scroll way down and here you find import and export favorites or bookmarks so just like Chrome that's the basic way to do it in Microsoft Edge if we go on to Vivaldi which I now use as my primary browser because obviously I like it we see that to get to the menu in this browser you have to go up here in the very top left corner and click on the icon for Vivaldi, the V icon. And when you click on that, it shows you these six menu choices or seven. And if you choose file, that opens up this window. And you see here, you have the choice of import bookmarks or export bookmarks. And if you click on export bookmarks, you get a save as dialog box. Once again, it's filled in a name and a date. But as I said before, I like to add the name of the browser so I know which browser's bookmarks they are. In this case, it's saving them in your documents folder. And that's probably as good a place as any to keep them. Opera same basic idea. Opera is a browser that I've used even longer than Firefox. It was the first browser that introduced the tab interface and the tab interface was wonderful back in the day of dial-up lines. It was so nice because it could open all kinds of other pages in the background on the slow dial-up line while I was reading the text on page I was currently on. I still use Opera but not much. Just like Vivaldi, at the very top left corner you click on the Opera icon which opens up a much bigger menu and as you see down here 
bookmarks is a choice and when you click on bookmarks it opens up this menu and you see here import and export bookmarks so that's it with Opera it's basically the same with all these browsers you have to get someplace in the management of bookmarks and you can export or import the bookmarks and what I do when I'm transferring bookmarks to another browser is that I will often edit the HTML file and you can edit it with even a uh, note tab or any simple editor just a text file and you go find the section where you have the bookmarks that you're interested in usually it's a folder of bookmarks that you want to import into the new browser to add to what's there so you edit those save them in a separate file and then you import that little file with a few bookmarks so hopefully that gives you some ideas of how to manage your bookmarks and move them from one browser to another